Yo, what's up, guys? It has been a Wolf Fox movie today. It's Chef Wednesday versus Wigan at home. So, uh, yeah, a few days ago on that Tuesday night, we had the, uh, yeah, the memory of that 1 0 loss. That was horrible. I did actually go to the game, but I just didn't bother uploading because of the time we got back, and then in the morning, I just didn't, I just didn't, I didn't feel like doing an so I just wasn't in the state to do an I was just like, so sad and angry, and yeah, like, I just don't like making videos like that because I don't think I give much quality. I just waffle a lot when I'm like that mad and angry. I don't really know what to talk about and I tried to make these videos good so uh, new game today, new day um, and a new team. I've already looked at the team. We'll get onto that in a minute but yeah last time we played we're gonna away was first game of the season that didn't go too well. We lost 3-2 and yeah that was pretty embarrassing. But then we did manage to beat them uh, one nil at home, I think it was um, around about uh, January time, uh, with a Steam Flesher winner. So he's on the bench again today. A little spoiler. Hopefully he can get another winner for us. Uh, coming back from that little injury he had, so he didn't play in the whole game. I think it was. So yeah, he's back now. That's great because uh, we really seem to miss him uh, against Hull. But yeah, um, that's all I really have to say now. Uh, my score prediction is two nil because. Not too great, we're going to think like 20th or 19th or something like that. So they're quite low down on the table, we're, we're quite high up still. Even though we lost, we're still 8th or 9th I think. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty still positive even after that loss. So if we win, we could uh, grasp ourselves into the playoffs. So that's, that's quite exciting and interesting. But anyway, we'll get onto the lineup now. Right, I think we, I do believe we are playing a 4-3-3 today. So we've got Westwood in goal, um, Palmer, left back, Tabachi right back. I offer on border in the centre back positions, Bannon, Wongo, and Palupasi in centre mid. So Palupasi coming in for Hudson and Wongo coming in for Ati Nuiu because we were playing two strikers, but now I guess we're playing one. Um, on the wings, we've got Harris and uh, Reach, and in the middle, we've got Fletcher coming back, of course. Then in the subs, we've got Dawson in goal. Well, not in goal, but you know, <laughs> goal uh, Fox, Lee, Winnell, Thornley, Murphy, and Atty. So, expecting Atty to come on. I'm expecting maybe Lee or Winnell to come on, and probably Murphy. Uh, yeah, so, they're pretty good subs. I mean, Atty, obviously, legend. He'll probably come on and get a goal because he always manages to do that. And uh, Murphy, maybe, if we need a bit of pace because. I don't know, I don't even, yeah, I don't know how he's doing the team after the performance on Tuesday, but, you know, hey-ho, hopefully better today. Uh, he should be, or he probably won't be in the team. Um... So guys, I'm now back from the match, the Wigan match. I mean, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. We won 1-0, I said we were going to win 2-0, so it was only one goal off. We really should have had 2-0 because we was an offside goal and uh, it was really close. And I, I, don't, I don't know if it's offside or not, I haven't looked back at it. But I remember it, I was just like, oh, I was so annoyed because I thought that was actually, it was offside. I thought we got a second goal and I was like, I think about my prediction being correct and thinking about more goal difference we're going to get, but it's fine. We, at least we still won in the end. It would have been annoying if, if they had ended up equalising at the end. Uh, but yeah, let's head through the match. So the game started off um, fairly slowly. It wasn't much tempo. Um, yeah, we didn't have many chances. We had a fairly good chance in the first half, uh, a fair few, but not too many. Not too many to say that one side was in front of the other. Um, I felt like we had more possession than uh, Wigan did in the first half, but uh, yeah, it was it was fairly quite close to the first half. The rest were pretty poor throughout the whole game to say that was a Premier League ref. I know it, it just is winching about refs all the time, but it, it, I can't lie, the, the refs are really bad. I don't I don't even understand because this was a Premier League one this time. Uh, but 
probably came from Premier League Championship because that bad because it was downgraded. So I don't know, but anyways, yeah. So we'll head on to the first goal really because not much happened. So into the second half, it was a it was a really nice play actually building up to this. We were putting on a lot of pressure. Um, yeah, and we just attacking, attacking, attacking. Um, we had a few corners here and there, and the ball. Uh, I can't remember what happened. It, it kind of went to a, a reach on the wing, I think, and then he kind of just like passed it into the longo, and he just hit it first time, and it was a beautiful strike. It went like top right, and it like curled in as well. It was like a typical finesse shot on FIFA. But yeah, it was it was lovely. It was a lovely goal. We clapped him. Everyone was standing applaud and uh, applause when he came off. He played really well today, I think, and I think he really deserved that goal. We were putting in a really good shift every time he's trying to uh, come onto the pitch. So I think he might play again next week. So yeah, it's pretty good to see. Uh, also, I was really impressed with um, uh, what can I say? Uh, the defenders, uh, obviously, I offer. Borna, always class, keeping a clean sheet, which is great this week. Um, it was really frustrating last week, but yeah. Uh, Bannon played really well when he didn't last week. Um, so yeah, putting a load of balls through, I was really impressed with him. And uh, uh, who else, who else? Palupasi had a really, really subtle shift. It, you couldn't really tell that he was in the game, but like when you did, you knew about it because he was always... Like, the, we can never really manage to get past our halfway line that much, or into our final third that much. Because Palupsi was kind of just controlling that holding CDM position, and uh, that was really good today. I really, I thought he was um, one of the mans of the match with uh, Luongo and uh, Iofa and Borna, so uh, yeah. Also, Westwood made a great save. He's obviously been outstanding, outstanding throughout the whole season, hasn't made a mistake yet. He's been great, really. He's, he's just... He's a really good keeper, and I'm uh, I'm really uh, pleased that we got him, well, like four years ago or something. So yeah, but one one slight moan about Adam Reach. He just had a it, his game wasn't that poor today. It was just mildly under average, which is just annoying because like, we all know what Reach can do. He had an appalling game against Hull, and uh, yeah, he's had like or he's been a, he's having a bad spell of play at the moment. I think um. I mean, I hope he gets better over the international break. Gets better, gets his head in the right state of mind. Um, uh, just works on his game a bit because he's been a bit like sloppy, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I hope he can play better as well. He should play better after the international break, and then uh, yeah, we'll have a very strong team to come against against Cardiff, which I aren't. I, I I'm not going to. By the way, which is annoying because Cardiff on a Friday night is are you mental? Uh, but yeah, I know I'm mental going to all the away games, but I'm not that mental. I literally can't make it. It's impossible for me to make it. Um, but yeah, I will be going to Stoke uh, away, uh, not away, at home on the uh, Tuesday night after the Friday match against Cardiff. And then the, we, uh, the Saturday after that, um, obviously, massive game, Leeds United at home, 12th kickoff. It's going to be absolutely insane in that one. I mean, Leeds are going to fill out the whole thing. We're going to probably get like quite a lot of uh, home fans there. If, if we keep the results up, then we should sure get a good 20, 27, 26k plus. So yeah, that'll be pretty interesting. So yeah, I can't really wait. And it's going to be really, really fun. And I can't wait to play Leeds. But anyway, guys, yeah, there's enough, enough moaning and uh, just talking and basically uh, chatting a load of beep beep about other teams uh yeah that's basically it really i think um pretty pretty decent game today i think we deserve the win close to my score prediction and uh yeah pretty pleased with it uh that's all i have to say wednesday up to eighth we only went up one position but we are a, uh, not what well, not point three points off the uh, top spot so literally a win if we get a win on Friday against Cardiff and every other top seven team loses, then I'm just saying, top first place right there. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, it is a distant dream into the future. But hopefully, I just hope we can get playoffs this season because we've been seeming really strong and I'm really pleased with Gary Monk so far. So yeah, 
Anyway guys, if you like this video, please do leave a fat like on it down below. And if you're new, just hit that subscribe button because, you know, we're getting close to 1k. Wigan fans, Sheffield Wednesday fans, just please just hit that red button, man. Really appreciate that. But, yeah. Anyway, leave your thoughts in the comments below. What what you thought about this match, what you thought about the video. Uh, if you want to see more uh, of these videos or maybe different content, I might 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 do some like football challenges or something in the near future. Just tell me if you want that because you know I'll deliver. I'll deliver. But yeah, that's been it, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Again.